Mitchell Amundsen of Dilworth, Minnesota, is lucky to be alive. I remember the accident, the ambulance ride, all the way into the Jamestown Hospital. On the day after Thanksgiving, Amundsen, age 26, was in a serious hunting accident just outside of Jamestown, North Dakota. My legs went numb and all of a sudden I was like, wow, this, this really hurts. While hunting coyotes with a friend, he was shot through the right flank with a bullet exiting his left side. He started to bleed internally and the fight for his life began. The phone rang and it was the uh, paramedic from Jamestown Hospital that called me. And I got the words that no mom ever wants to hear. You know, we have your son here in the emergency room. He's in extreme critical condition. Mitchell's wounds were so severe that the hospital in Jamestown could not save him. So they called Sanford Air Med to bring him to Sanford's Level 1 Trauma Center in Fargo. Mitchell's heart stopped multiple times, including at least once on the helicopter. He also lost more than four liters of blood. The human body contains just five. The helicopter uh, crew, they're, they're not just transportation, they're, they're professionals of the highest order. Dr. N.A. Gashevik was one of several trauma and critical care surgeons at Sanford Fargo who worked on Mitchell, and he said every step went according to plan, which was crucial in saving Amundsen's life. He would have likely died if uh, any one of those things didn't quite happen the way it did. Uh, he had a critical injury, he had major blood vessel that was uh, ruptured, uh, the crew in Jamestown was able to do immediate damage control. Uh, the helicopter crew um, did their job and uh, kept them alive throughout uh, the trip here. E everybody did kind of above and beyond uh, by the time that he got here and then um, he locked out. He attempted to die multiple times and uh, he's still around to tell the story. Even after being stabilized, doctors still didn't know if Mitchell would recover his brain function. But three days after his accident, he began to stir. And the nurse grabbed his hands and said, Mitchell, can you squeeze my hand? And he squeezed her right hand. And she said, can you move your toes, wiggle your toes? And he moved his left toes. I just didn't stare at him. And I'm like, my baby's still here. <laughs> and he's him. You know, I didn't know if I would walk out of that hospital without a child, with a different child, or with my child, and I got mine back. I can't say thank you enough to those people. The right people were in the right spot at the right time to save his life, over and over. <laughs> After 20 days at Sanford, Mitchell finally went home. He's moving slowly now, but he is recovering, and he says as soon as he's able, he wants to go back out hunting. In Dilworth, Minnesota, Jason Anschutz, Sanford Health News.